The waistbands of Tennesseans keep expanding. Today, one in every three people in the state are obese, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Well, locally, groups are working to make some of the area's poorest people healthier. Drew Balea is here to explain why thousands of people are left leaving eating. Thousands are left gasping for healthy food. Half of the people in the United States are at an increased risk of dying early because they are not at, at a healthy weight. In Hamilton County, 60% of those people fall into that early death category. Now, there are many reasons why people are overweight, but one is the food desert or lack of access to healthy food for people in South and East Chattanooga. At my bus there. Rosemary Porter has lived in South Chattanooga for the past six years. The 60-year-old retiree raises her two great-grandchildren. She's heading to the store on this cold winter morning. Without a car, it's no simple task. I've gone to the store at day, when it was day, and by the time I get back home, it's night. A trip to the local grocer used to take Porter only a few minutes, but now options are scarce. When Dixie sold out to Bala, so they moved out. Then Food Lion moved out. Porter is one of 70,000 people in Chattanooga living inside of a food desert. How y'all doing? If 33% or five, more than 500 people live greater than a mile away from a grocery store, uh, then it's considered a food desert. John Bilderback works with the Hamilton County Health Department and oversees the Step 1 program, which is an effort to remove obstacles so poor people can make some healthier choices. Uh, abnormally high rates of obesity, heart disease, cancers. Bilderback says income is the main factor contributing to poor health, but access to healthy food options also plays a pivotal role. You can have two choices, both can be negative, and you know, we can scream, make healthy choices all you want. And that's all we have, so that's what we have to do. And people have to eat. Health department figures show South and East Chattanooga lack grocery stores with healthy choices. Depending on traffic and the stops that the bus has to make, it can take between 40 minutes and an hour one way. Another option, taxis. They don't hardly have money to buy groceries, let alone pay someone to take them to the store. Walking has its own dangers. Two weeks ago, a man was shot to death just blocks away from Porter's home. People are just afraid to move in certain areas, and this is one of them. So what can be done? Bilderback and other organizations are making strides. The mobile market is, is a feasible way to provide healthy food options. Farm stands, produce stands would be other feasible options. Bilderback says big box stores still shy away. We would love for you know, a Publix or a Walmart come in and put us out of business. So the harsh reality Alton Park, 38th Street, hits home for Porter's great-grandchildren. I hope that they move out of this area. Now, the health department is expanding their mobile market and community garden programs in South and East Chattanooga. And for more information on, health, on the health department or to get information about healthy food options where you live, click on this story at newschannel9.com.